Forward TV. The world is thinking. I, I taught at a school, a university that had sinking numbers of male students and rising numbers of female students. And they wanted to address, redress this imbalance. And so they began dipping down into the pool of male students and picking students with lower SATs. So, because, you know, women do better on the SATs than men do. And they kept, went down and down, and now they have equal numbers. And I don't know if these men are going around the campus with their heads held low because everybody said, oh, oh, oh that's Charlie, look at him, you know. Uh, in fact, I don't think they know, I don't think they care. Uh, so I don't think it's the phenomenon that we hear described over and over again because all this is anecdotal evidence and nothing but anecdotal evidence. Professor Connolly? Yeah, I, I, I think it's funny that Lee keeps coming back to uh, other illegitimate modes of admission to justify um, <laughs> race. I mean, I'm I, the proudest thing I, the thing I'm most proud about NYU is that we don't have a football team. So we don't have to deal with, uh, you know, uh, true, the, it? passing the, the answers to the football players who got in because we want to win the Pac-10 or whatever. So, um, like I said, I challenge you to get rid of legacy admissions at Columbia or donor admissions there, or politically sensitive admissions or any of, there's, all of these things are e equally legitimate. What makes race specific in this case is that it, it is stigmatizing. Um, and, and it's stigmatizing not just because whites are racist, but because it's such a based on group identity. I, I guarantee you when I see a kid who is a star athlete, no matter what race they are, or that I know that they are the son or daughter of someone who has a building named after them on campus, I'm stigmatizing them in my mind too. Don't worry, I'm an equal opportunity stigmatizer. So um, I would like to get rid of all these things. I think actually Berkeley is a great example. There's, you know, too bad for me because uh, Berkeley has no legacy admissions. My kids are not gonna have a leg up in getting in. And as much as that bugs me in one regard, um, uh, I think it's the right thing.